All right, ever take a look at your tungsten and it looks like this? Don't use it. We're gonna go over something really quickly here. When I'm working with my students in my online TIG welding program, sometimes I get a common question from students and they're having problems getting clean starts and getting things to establish properly at the end of each weld. Usually the student and I go through a series of exercises to get them best set up to deal with this problem, but the most common things that happens is this. I always ask them to take a photo of their torch and tungsten and what they send back to me usually looks something like this. Stop right here. If we see things starting to look like this, we need to figure out what is causing the problem and most importantly, how do we eliminate it? What is usually happening here is either we have dipped and contaminated our tungsten or we have a problem with the machine's balance we have set up. Typically, when somebody's running a tungsten, whether they have a pointed tip, a blunted tip, or a tip with a ball on the end of it like I prefer using, regardless of what it is, we need to keep it looking nice. If we dip and contaminate our tungsten, we need to take care of the problem right away. Sometimes it is possible to repair or clean the tungsten. If you are wondering how to do this, this episode here goes over that topic specifically. That episode is also in the description below. Check that episode out. That's gonna give you some information on how to properly assess whether you can clean and reuse a tungsten. However, the one thing I always recommend doing, let's just take a quick second swap it out for a new one completely. Especially if I'm working with TIG welding thin material, I have zero tolerance for any kind of contamination on my tungsten. Putting the issue of contamination aside completely, the biggest thing that I wanna focus on is clean starts. If we have a tungsten that is completely smashed, like this one we're seeing here right now, look at what's gonna to happen to our arc when we establish a pass here. Both at the start and at the termination of the weld, when we are working with lower amperage, we are gonna see arc deflection like this. When we start an arc, we want it to establish cleanly and accurately. And especially when we're working with thin material, think of how hard it's gonna to be to get your arc to establish cleanly and accurately. It's gonna be a big pain in the butt. Whether we have dipped and contaminated completely or we have a tungsten tip which is starting to lose its shape due to improper setup of balance on our machine, arc deflection is gonna be the same thing that gives us problems when we are working with low amperage both at our starts and our terminations of our welds. When we reshape our tungsten properly or switch it out for a new one, we are gonna have nice efficient starts like what you're seeing here right now. I commonly weld some very thin material. Even when I'm running a proper ball on the end of my tungsten, which again, I prefer doing, having my tungsten set up efficiently and cleanly is always gonna give me the best results. We wanna see a start like this. We want our starts clean. We want them to establish properly and accurately. The start is hands down, the most important part of every weld. I talk about this all the time. And I go over specifically a lot of these details about how important our starts are in this episode here. Both of these episodes I have recommended here in this episode will absolutely be the next step covering this subject. Go check those episodes out next. And today, go out and do a random act of kindness for a stranger, spread some positivity. For Pacific Arctic Welding, my name is Dusty, Phil, and Chill. We will talk soon. Peace.